what up guys we're trying out a new microphone this is uh test number two ah! Ah! and we're gonna see if the microphone actually sounds good while i do my car vlogs because audio is everything and that's what we want when we're making moto vlogs and car vlogs you want the audio to be crisp and clean and that's exactly what i hope it is i have the window down so maybe the audio might get a little distorted we'll see what happens because usually i have the window up because that gives you the best audio ah! <laughs> uh I love uh, driving by and yelling at people because they always freak out. They always look, turn around, what was that? It always makes people turn and look like, what, asshole? <laughs> I just got the middle finger. That guy gave me the middle finger for uh, yelling at him. What the hell? They had their hand out the window. That's a Mitsubishi clip. They're hotboxing that thing. I don't know what the hell they're doing when they have their hand out the window. I have no clue what they're doing. They have the hand out the window. Haha, <laughs> you see I got the 1970s headset on. I'm really wondering what the hell is going on in that uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse while they have their hand out the window. All I know is when we were driving by, I could see some smoke coming out. Maybe they're hotboxing it. Haha, <laughs> but uh, yeah man, that's the best way I, I could decide to do audio. We are back at the uh, crib coming up here in a minute. So videos testing out this audio and seeing if it is a, a viable option. Because normally I use this bad boy which is a um, shotgun condenser microphone plugged into the phone and then pointing at myself. But it's harder to wanting to record because this stupid wind muff is so big and it um, blocks the buttons so it's almost impossible to hit the play or pause or record button but did i ever tell you guys that uh i'm looking probably july or august to pick up a yamaha zuma 50 i don't know if i've uh brought that to you guys' attention but um i've absolutely thought about getting a zuma 50 scooter and the main reason is it's going to get me comfortable on the road, comfortable starting, and comfortable riding on the road. And it's going to be something that's going to be funner than hell. It's going to be a lot more uh, funner than driving my car. And one reason why I want it is so I can save gas money on my car. And then I would just use my car for going to work and it would save me a lot. I wouldn't have to fill up maybe once a week, maybe less than that. But with the uh, Zuma... It is a 50cc scooter, which is not a bad thing, I don't think. It uh, does 42 miles per hour. Oh my god, that's slow. I know. But it's going to get me acclimated with the streets, and it's going to get me comfortable with the road. But uh, I did check one out at the Yamaha de Yamaha? Yeah, at the Yamaha dealership, and it was legitimately. I, I seen a person, I was like, that's dope. I'm going to go uh, pick one of those up. To be realistic with you guys, my main focus is to buy one straight out without paying any payments or anything like that. But, I mean, if I have to go the route of paying payments, I will. But I don't really want to do that. And I found out it's only 240 bucks for the whole year. For the whole year with um, insurance. So that's a pretty cool thing. 240 bucks. I could, I could pay that off in one sitting. Like one paycheck. Just pay off the insurance or pay off like majority of it and then have like a very low payment or whatever. But I just think it's going to be something that's going to get me really into motorcycles. Really into acclimating myself to two-wheel vehicles, especially on the street. And God, it's like 100% humidity and my window keeps fogging up. That's ridiculous. It's 100% humidity and it's 75 degrees at 6 in the morning. It's going to be a hot as hell day. But uh, my name is Trevor. As always, remember to rate, even if you hate, comment, and subscribe.